Here at 7-2. If you were watching North Carolina, North Carolina State, welcome to Rupp Arena where the Cats are off to a big start. Georgia might have to have a timeout, and they take one. Mark Fox has seen enough. Three Georgia turnovers and only one bucket, and Kentucky red hot from the field, and in the first three minutes, they lead by... Now Jones is cut off on a double team by Georgia. Two to shoot, and up and under and in. Whoa. How about Darius Miller? And how about... It's a different place and different story, and a more mature Kentucky team. Price in low, blocked by Harrison. Jones asking for it. Kicks it outside. Knight for three. Got it. Brandon Knight. His 49th three-pointer of the year. And the little rim, they get to the free throw stripe, and that's what they have to do in this game. Harrelson underneath. Nice look down low to the big fella. Some straight line drives or straight line passes. You see how he got his shoulders, Brad, squared up to the passer? He wasn't a small target. This is a big... And Knight is going to try another one. Well, that time he was wide open. And he's buried two of the three he's taken out there. Ashley jumped around. We were talking with the Georgia players about that very thing today. If they could beat Kentucky, and they're not off to a good start, that would erase the taste of this ball game. A little screening action up top, and they, they almost cut off of moving screens, Kentucky does at times. You have to be alert. You have to keep your rear defensively between the guys. Texas team that's undervalued right now in the rankings and a Texas A&M team that's overvalued in the rankings. Look at this guy. Wow. He can really shoot it from three-point land. Number one in the conference. In fact, field goal percentage from out. Dogs by 10. Fight it just like he fought it three years ago. Buddy, hang in there. We're with you. Lamb on the outside for three. Well, it's a gamble right now. Mark Fox knows it's a matter of time. Dustin Ware just inside the three-point line. He's their best outside shooter. Here's Liggins. Boy, right now, Kentucky's just so hot. Lamb got an open 15-footer. Can't let a good shooter be that open. Eight for Lamb, and the lead swells to 14. It's a terrific job of... Giving the defense a little lift fake and then dribbles himself into wide open 15. Make a run at Liggins. They move it around to an open Duran Land. Got him. Parker, that's not the extra pass. That's the right pass. Exactly where the ball should have went, and it was there on top. Of the day at 17. Rejection down low by Vargas. Looking out in my hotel room this morning, banners on cars and people out milling around four or five hours before a game like an SEC football right. game when you come to Lexington. I Tompkins and Price, Brad, they need their one, got their paws on the basketball. Jones goes in strong, finds a little gap. Dustin Ware making it a little bit more of a game. Here's Miller on the drive. He missed in close, got his own miss, and has a chance for a three-point play now because of it. Nice hustle to go get his own. Darius Miller is a key guy for this Kentucky team. He needs to be a double-figure scorer. Six or seven rebounds a game. Brad, he can't disappear. Not a word. They're a little quicker reacting to Kentucky offensively, and they've gotten the ball inside on offense. Jones against Tompkins could only do so much. Trey tried to... Entry pass very deep to Price. I don't know if he can find a way out of there. Harrelson blocks the shot and picks up the ball. Nice defense by Josh Harrelson. The blue water right now. I if know they that. lose, the flight attendant comes and says, excuse me, sir, <laughs> you're off. Somebody else is on. <laughs> that, that uh, They'll get involved here pretty soon in an eight-point game. Lamb, pull-up jumper. Got it. Maybe the best part of his game that we don't talk about, Deron Lamb. He shoots it just well enough from the three that you have to go out and opens up his middle game, which... <laughs> Lamb on the dribble and the turnaround jumper, and he's hit a couple of big baskets in the last minute. 17 for Duran Lamb. Guard into this part of the floor, boom, right there. That's exactly what he does to Dustin Ware, who's only 6'1". He goes and then spins back, and look at the shoulders get squared up. This is an easy... Under the four-minute mark before they take the next shot, unless Knight gets one right here, and he does. 
That was beautiful one-on-one -on -one basketball by Brandon Knight. He didn't predetermine what he was. Off the on-ball action, can't go right, so he goes left and then splits and gets to the rim. This is a kid that doesn't take contact very well, but he's very good at getting away from. Oh, Brad, if I'm Georgia, at some point, I think Mark Fox, not that he hasn't already done it, but I think the words, the loss to Tennessee and the loss to Florida, they don't need to be spoken again for Georgia. It's behind them. They're good enough to battle back and be an NCAA tournament team, but they have to get control of their own destiny. Kentucky holds on after letting a big lead slip away. Wildcats win it 66 to 60 is our final score. That's going to do it for us from Rupp Arena. For Jimmy Dykes and our entire ESPN crew, Brad Nessler saying so long. Coming up next, college game day, followed by Kansas State and Kansas. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, you can log on to ESPN.com. Right now, it's time for Reese Davis and the gang and game day.